The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Nadex Options Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Bull Bear, Nadex Options Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials trading down uh, 20. You get the NASDAQ down 13. S&P's off four and a half. Gold contract up uh, $3.60, trading at $11.91 an ounce. We have silver up 30 cents, $14.59 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 18 cents, $72.31 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note up five ticks, 118.29, 30-year bond up eight. 140.29 and King Dollar. King Dollar up by 391 ticks, trading 94,915. The euro is at 115.86 to 1 US dollar. The yen is at 152.52 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Let's go to the world of Tesla. So, the world of Tesla, Elon Musk, he's got some uh, problems. They're piling on top of each other. Tesla opened down. 33 bucks today, 274. If we uh, do pull this back, what you're going to see in Tesla, which we've had from quite some time, uh, it's never tested thus far the low of February, the week of February 9th, 244. 244 is coming at us. We'll see how it uh, handles uh, the 244 number. Now, the intriguing part about this is that, number one, uh, the SEC was so fast on this. Uh, most times, folks, and when you take a look at... Uh, uh, fraud uh, allegations that come out of the SEC, it takes a long period of time. In this particular case, uh, bottom line is that uh, it wasn't, uh, it, well, it was blatant um, when he came out and said the bottom line is that he's going to take the public, uh, he's going to take his the company private at $420. Uh, his huge mistake was that the one sentence line that is funding is secured. You know, uh, what you have uh, most times uh, when you're dealing with financial fraud, it's non-transparent. In this particular case, that is about as transparent as you can get. Now, you know, the bottom line is that what I thought was pretty intense, actually, uh, and I'm not sticking up for uh, Musk or uh, Tesla in general at, at all, not even close, but what's intriguing is that what the news is saying that they offered him a deal, he decided not to take the deal. Now they're going to... Now they went after him, and they're after him that flat out that he cannot be a CEO of a public company. The thing that's so weird about that is that the we've seen, you know, I've been doing this now since, my God, like continually since 92, right? And the weird thing about that is that we've seen so many financial frauds since then, and the SEC normally basically says a 10-year, even Theros, which is the biggest fraud in the world, uh, Elizabeth Holmes, who definitely should be in jail forever, um, is only, she's excluded for 10 years. So bottom line is that, you know what, he's toast, man. Um, he's, he's toast. That's, that's the bottom line. And, you know, we'll see, I suspect what you're going to see next is that the Justice Department is going to go after him probably criminally. And so this, 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 there's big problems here in paradise. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, higher volume equities out here. You have uh, Advanced Micro down 23 cents. Uh, Tesla's the big one. GE is in trouble big time. It's down 8 cents, trading $11.44. Now what you're going to have with GE, you're going to have GE on a weekly basis digging into the high of the low of 2009 with monster volume. So each and every week, we'll see how what happens with GE next week, but you're at the beginning of the high, and we'll see if we get to that low. And the low, low price we're talking about is in the fives, $5 level. You get uh, Tilray uh, is up $8. This is going to be uh, <laughs> this is going to be a little problem, child. Um, Tilray, uh, the volatility staying in Tilray. This is the cannabis uh, equity that uh, takes in all of nine million per quarter, and right now, yeah. So they they still they're nine million per quarter, and they get a market cap 
uh, of $12.9 billion. Okay, it's, it's so far over the top, you can't see straight. Uh, what I expect uh, we're also going to see uh, happen out here, uh, well, no, what, what, what has happened out here this morning is, is kind of intriguing. Um, and what it is, it's, it's, and I'm wondering if this is a way to um, go after the cannabis stocks without actually saying that's what Merrill Lynch is actually doing. So Merrill Lynch came out this morning and they're informing their clients that uh, they're changing policy on penny stocks. Now, the differential, let's see what they say, citing um, the division uh, banned purchase of penny stocks in late July, adding restrictions in September. Starting September 30th, stocks priced under $5 from companies with a market cap under $300 million will be will be subject to a regulatory review. Okay, so I want to just look at a few of these for a second. Let me just see some. GPL. Because there's many stocks. I don't, okay, so here, so watch, check this out. So this is the, they're not just they're not just going after that. They're, this this is this is kind of this is really interesting how they're doing this. Okay, so they're classifying uh, what they're going to go under regulatory review as a stock that trades under five dollars and has a market cap less than three hundred million. Now, granted, yeah, there, there's a lot of pump and dumps that are like that, but there's all a lot, a lot of companies that actually make good revenue and actually bring in big money. If I look at Great Panther, so watch this. Great Panther has a market cap of 146 million. They are trading at 86 cents, yet they have revenue of 83 million and they don't plan on making any money this year. Next year they make, plan on making six cents. So that's gonna be intriguing to see, okay, what, where and what is uh, Merrill Lynch uh, clients, where, they, where they're trying to go with. Interesting. Wow. Okay. The uh, commodity market. Let's go take a look at this commodity market uh, because what, what I, there's, there's a differential that's going on out here today that uh, is pretty intense if you happen to be in the metals market. Um, right now, inside the commodity market, you get natural gas is off uh, two, two and a half percent. Uh, cotton, cotton is down nine tenths. Aluminum's off 1.6. Uh, the winners out here, you have uh, lean hogs up uh, almost four percent. Coffee's up 2.2, you get silver up 2, sugar's up 1.5, copper's up uh, 6 tenths of 1%. You get some uh, decent, decent numbers out here. Uh, if we do go over and we take a look at the uh, silver market, what you're going to see is that silver's caught a real bid. And the differential, which has absolutely changed, uh, we'll see whether it holds, but bottom line is that it absolutely has changed, is that we had 62,000 contracts traded in the silver, in the silver um, market this morning. You got over the, the highs, or we're right at them. The high, well, we're actually over them. And Silver had had a nice sign of strength on Tuesday. We got to, up to $14.59. You had 97,000 contracts. We're already at 62, so that's going to blow that away. What that also is, is that you're already into the downdraft. Um, we've had many downdrafts since April. You're into the downdraft from the August 15th area. And you're in it by 15 cents. That brings your probability much higher that silver wants to run up to $15.16. And here's the divergence. The divergence is that the dollar, bottom line, is not only higher, but guess what? It has volume behind the move. So one of them is going to fail. That's the, bottom, that's the bottom line. Stay right there, folks. Uh, Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the uh, Dow Industrials trading down 28. NASDAQ is off 21. S&P is off 5.5. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on billable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per billable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow. We have the Dow Industrials down 16. Nasdaq off 13. S and P's off four. What's happening? Good morning. Happy Friday. Yeah, totally. Let's go to our man Mark in New Bedford. What's going on, brother? Hi. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tommy. How are you? Morning, Mark. How you doing? Uh, wet here, but we're surviving. You're wet, we're surviving. huh? Huh. Well, you, you're you're coming into the fall, man. Well, the fall is beautiful up there. You know, you, we you are, cool. and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous time of year. This is my probably my favorite time of year. Yeah, there's no doubt, man. And you don't want too much rain, folks, particularly when the, because then all the, the leaves fall off the trees too quick. Yeah, yeah. and that's a big muddy mess, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, it's a big, big muddy mess, and you know, uh, on a slick road, it can cause a few accidents. Oh, definitely. Yeah, big time. So. So. I have a question. I have a whole bunch of questions because I haven't talked to you in a long time. I could probably take the whole show, but um, I'll start with um, with gold because that's where um, the action seems to be at least this morning. Yeah. Tom, do you think that the gold run has any foresight to maybe the, the nonsense of what's going on in DC? No. 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 I think the because. Uh, I've heard in the last, I don't know, 12, 14, 15 hours okay. that if Kavanaugh gets in, and it's probably, it sounds like he, he, there's a pretty good chance he will, that um, if he gets in and the Democrats get both the House and the Senate, and the Senate's kind of a long shot, but it's not out of the question, they're talking of uh, reopening the, the hearing and making it a bloodbath on Kavanaugh, even if he's seated, and they, someone's floating the idea of, of, of impeaching both Trump and Kavanaugh. And, I mean, if, if you see that, and I, I don't even know if that's possible, but it, I guess it's not out of the question. If, if you see that, you would have chaos in, in D.C. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't think that affects the gold market. What's been blowing my mind is this, right? You know, gold is worldwide, right? What I don't quite understand, and that's what I'm trying to wrap my head around, is that, okay, so as our dollar went higher, right, we saw other currencies, you know, going lower. It's like, you know, the, the biggest owners and buyers outside of the GLD is China and India. You know, so it's, it's 
when I just look at the markets as buying and selling, and particularly the gold market, because the gold market's a small market, it's like I can't figure out why isn't there more buying over there because the currency has been going down. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, what has happened, and this is not even a political deal, is that there's no doubt that, like, even when markets have been going south, you know, gold hasn't caught a bid. But I learned in 2006 and 7 that, guess what? You know, people thought that if you own gold, if there's a market crash, gold would go up. Well, gold crashed, too. Gold went from 1133 to 666 in two weeks. <laughs> you know, so um, the correlation, what I like this morning, so now, and this is what I talked about on the update and in the, the first segment, is that this is the first time that we see, have seen the opposite of what we've seen since last April. You know, last, since last April, even if the dollar went down, gold wouldn't do anything, and the stocks wouldn't. Now, all of a sudden, you know, the dollar was strong yesterday, the dollars are strong today, but yet the gold equities are strong, and, and gold's going up. So, And my, my only point, Mark, would be to the point of the politics that uh, that's not going to affect Gold. The market's not going to care yeah. one way or the other about a Supreme Court justice swinging the court. Um, whatever you think about that is just not going to affect don't think the so. market. Yeah. yeah. I, I have heard on I don't know a couple of places where the Democrats have already put together some sort of a committee, assuming that they are they are assuming they're going to get the House, and this committee is studying very seriously. Uh, impeachment. So I, you know, I, all I got to say in this whole thing is it's going to be a very interesting fall uh, going into the, into the winter when they seat the new Congress. People may talk about impeachment. That's not going to happen. If the Democrats get the House, there will be more hearings about a variety of things. But that's kind of clown show is standard business these days, and the market just continues to rock. So yeah, I think that you had somehow. You don't have to necessarily separate the whole thing, but you got to come pretty close to it. Yeah. And the the feeling, my feeling there, and I've, I've, I've always felt this, though, you, you might have heard this years ago, too, is that individually and collectively, you know, we have it as a country. So what happens is that we go through these cycles, and we're in a good cycle right now, man. Do you know what I mean? Because everything got flushed out. You know, people had cash. They held on to their cash for a long period of time. They wouldn't spend them. You can't blame them because the, the disaster was so bad. Now they start loosening up on the cash. Until everyone gets over their head again, that cycle I don't think will go down. Yeah. You know, that's what it seems like. You know what I mean? What I like to pay attention to more are, you know, you have Republicans in control of the House and the Senate and the rules that are getting changed, like we were talking about yesterday, where you might not have to report your net asset value right. anymore, okay? That the market listens to. Right. And that's why the market's gone up, because they're doing away with regulations that businesses love, consumers, that might be another question. But if that starts to change, that's something you should listen to, because that is a regulation that affects business, versus a Supreme Court nominee that, you know, got the whole country caught up yesterday. But in terms of affecting the market and gold, I don't see that playing into that at all. Question for both of you: The tariffs seem to have little, if any, impact on on the market. The what? Tom and Tommy the tariffs. Post, what do you think oh. of, of the tariffs? Oh, the tariffs are going to have an. Imp my take is the tariffs yeah. are going to have an impact. Yeah, we just give us a few more months. I would listen to that as yeah, well. Yeah, right. I mean, you, a few more months. That and this is this is where I think this is going. I do think that. You are going to have, you know, I know you heard me say this many times. I think the two vicious, most vicious businesses is the finance and politics. And, you know, when you're high up in that, man, they're just different animals that are in them. And what I think has already happened is that the disconnect has already happened between the business community, the CF, CEOs of that community, and the administration over the Taft issue, because now it's going to come down to money. And it's still going to take two or three more months, though, to start hitting the bottom line. And I suspect that they're going to make sure that, meaning the business uh, community is going to make sure that they know that, hey, listen, man, these, this is a tax. I'm going to pass the tax on to you. You go deal with it. You know, because business can seem to always pass most of their cost on. They have to. I mean, if they're, if, you know, and that's when I think that, yeah, whether it's three months from now, you know, so. Yeah, I think that's going to hit. And, and Tom, that's very true. I was in a furniture store up here uh, called Jordan's Furniture, and I'm sure you two know sure, about we it. We know Jordan's, yeah. The listeners, 
for the listeners here in New England know who Jordan's furniture is. It's it's one of the big ones up here. They, right? they got that Muppet. big movie theater, um, IMAX, right? They were, got, yeah, yeah, they were exactly. one of the first exactly. ones to understand and, that, yeah. I was talking... I was talking to one of our salespeople because my wife and I were in looking at some stuff the other week, the other day. Sure. And they said the guys in the mattress section are, are really ballistic, and they're ballistic because the price of mattresses has gone up. And she implied that it's gone way up. She, she didn't say that. She just said it's gone up. And it's gone up because of the steel. And this lady cited specifically the cost of the steel in the mattress has gone up. And the mattress prices have gone up. Yeah, well, they, if they're made over in China, they're coming in. That might be inside the a 25% tariff. So guess what? If a mattress is 100, that's another $25 added onto it. You know, if it's more than that, it's even more. Yeah. So that will basically, you know, come to the bottom line. Cooking, brother. All right, cooking, guys. Have a great weekend. Uh, thanks, Mark. Great weekend. Take care, man. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow is up one. Nasdaq's down ten. S&P's off two. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Monday, September 24th, TFNN is launching a new updated version of our website. You can still visit us at the same tfnn.com URL, and starting Monday, you'll be able to experience the new and improved TFNN website. If you're a current subscriber, don't worry, your subscription will be automatically transferred. The new tfnn.com will allow much easier access to all your account and subscription information. Get ready for the new tfnn.com educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrial is up 15. Nasdaq is down 6. S&Ps are uh, down 1. And uh, Tesla. So, bottom line, Tesla's down 36 bucks. Yeah. You got the SEC. So Filed charges, right? They filed charges. Uh, the thing, I was talking about this a little bit earlier, the thing that's so intriguing about this is that 
Like, I... They're... They're, he's going, man. You know, and the reason I'm saying that is that what is kind of weird about this, and I'm not sticking up from, is that I guess they, they, the statement was that they tried to make a deal with him. He said, no way, I'm not making a deal. So now they, they're going after him that he can never be a CEO okay. of a public company. Yeah. And what is kind of, well, what is different about that is that the, you know, the, uh, Theranos, is that the name of that company? Yeah, the Theranos? Yeah. 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 So, Elizabeth Holmes. Elizabeth Holmes? Yes. The SEC made a deal with her that she only cannot be a CEO for 10 years. Yeah, and that she, doesn't seem... It, it, it's, it's whopped, yeah. okay? It's whopped. You know, now, that being said, you know, the... So let me give you the other side of that. Yeah. There's people in low-level accounting positions that sign off on accounting documents that go away and do jail time. Right. And Elon Musk is... F the implications of Elon Musk's actions yeah. are far more consequential than one accounting person signing off somewhere. It's like I have friends, I've had friends we were talking about last night. Yeah. They're not like CFOs of public companies. Right. They're just accountants that had signed off. Okay. okay. And they're doing jail. For that. For that. Okay. And so that's... And it's a front. Yeah, right. and I'm going the other way, as in, so how is that where Elon Musk... Oh, yeah. You, oh, poor, poor him because he can't be CEO, as in... You he, know, I'm just stating, and I agree with you, the other side no, it goes, no, 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 but no, where no, does I, the pendulum no, swing, right? No, I understand right? that. It, 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 You're talking about $20 billion because the guy just was feeling his ego? Oh, and, no, no, and no, it cuts to, to the chase, I, I think. So the next sentence, yeah. the, I, I think what we're going to see here, right? I heard you in the beginning of the show. Oh, that, did you? Okay. Yeah. The, the Justice Department's going after right. him. I mean, I think this is going to turn into a criminal deal. I mean, it's... So, you know, our... Publicly traded stocks are built on the foundation of public information right. and equal information for all, fair distribution of information. Right. That system falls apart if you just let CEOs say whatever they want, oh, definitely. allow it. So that's the real crux of what you right. have to say. And, you know, some of my friends are making great points just in discussions, you know, just talking about it and saying, man, you're going to take one of the greatest innovators we have, which I agree with, yeah. out of that position, right? But guess what? Equal justice for all. Okay, so just because you're an amazing mind, right. you don't get to break the rules. Oh, you know, the, because the, the, and yeah. it's a shame. It's a shame right. because. But it's it's real. Like you know. he's but so why don't you go be chief creative officer or right. something? Okay, because he should not be CEO. Right. If that's what he's doing, and he's so arrogant that that's the problem, because he has no remorse for it. Right. He won't make any deal. So he should not, because that's not how public stock markets function. No, no, that's, I, that's the real the, core of what's the problem. Oh, oh, you know, there's no doubt. It, there's a lot of people it, really that got hurt there. Oh, a um, huge amount. Yeah. And you know, the, I, I would say too, the differential is that we're in the markets every day. I'm a lot more used to, like, half of half of going out there is bad anyway. But but in this in this case, there's plenty of people that actually believe that. There's no doubt. Do you know what the, I mean? The system is is meant. To be that you're to believe, allowed yeah. to believe. I right, mean, if you're, right. you know, when you somebody be, yeah, releases with, right, right. public information <laughs> right. about a stock takeover, right. that's not something that you have to, you know, flip a coin and decide right. whether it's, it's, you know, real information. Right. Otherwise, the market falls apart, and it's all going to be um, funding secured. Yeah. So yeah. that's going to be the first. More than like, folks, what's going to happen is that that's that may be one of the first tweets. You're, you're going to see boards now saying, okay, you can't tweet at all. You know? Yeah. yeah. It used to be like that. No, yeah. I mean, it, no it, matter what happens, though, a CEO is always going to be able to make public comments in a capacity that if you make them in that certainty of statements, they're going to be yielded as, as a, as oh, a yeah. factual statement. Right. And so the other part that comes, funding secured, but him choosing the $420 price yeah. for, you know, I want to say... Well, uh, his girlfriend says that, that yeah, it was that, for pot, Number right? one, that he added like a 20% markup just randomly right. on what the company might be worth and then rounded up to a number right. that has connotation in the marijuana and, industry. And then smoked the joint afterwards. It, it's, yeah. it's, that uh, probably was the top end of the It's beyond irrational behavior. Yeah. Um, so what's the consequence, right? If, if somebody in, in the 500th company of the S&P 500 ever did that, they'd probably be in jail. Do you see what I'm saying? So you don't get to just break the rules and do whatever you want just because you're a brilliant mind and you're worth billions of dollars. Yeah. That's yeah. not how society's supposed to function. And so that, uh, you get that February 9th swing low, folks, coming at you. You know, uh, and that's a lot lower. It's not, we're 270. I think it's 249 or something. It's 244, I think, right? Yeah, 244. That hasn't been hit yet. You know, we, we, we get down there last time with uh, 46 million shares on the weekly. It's an 87 million bar. 
We're going to do 40 million shares uh, yeah. this week, 42 million. You're a long way away from it, too. I mean, the bummer is, you know, if you have a private company, that's the great thing about starting your own business. You get to do whatever you want. It's your business, right? But when you go out to the public and you sell them parts of your company, right. and you sell them that based on public information and, and equality for all, you don't get to do what you, you want to do whenever you want to do it. And, and Musk doesn't like following those rules, as I think right. we could all agree on. But he still wants the bread. Well, he has the bread, in fair, you know, and that's part of it, too. Where he's no, got no, he wants the bread, meaning that he goes out to the public right. and gets the bread. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. Because right. the, the amount of... He wants to raise the money. The, yeah, the, yeah, the amount of uh, debt yeah. is extraordinary, right. and that's where this thing's going to turn into You trouble. want to raise that money, you become accountable to the people that give you that money, right. and he doesn't right. care about that, right. and that's the real problem. Yeah. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go take a look at the GDX. So Fridays in the metals market, folks, can be tough. Uh, that being said, though, good old King Dollar uh, is up big, and the GDX caught a small bid. You know, let's uh, so Barrick Gold. Let's trade in sideways. Newmont. Let's see what's putting the bid underneath it. Up forty four cents. Slightly. Let's uh, Royal, Royal Gold. Not up too much, but they must be all up a few pennies. I mean, that's how that's how that seems to be uh, shaken out. Yeah. Um, you know, because you can see King Dollar. It's going to be intriguing coming into the close here because what King Dollar has done is that I don't think it hit the swing high I was looking at yet, but that's what it looks like it wants to do. Yeah, you get the, well, you get the swing up there at 95, 280. We got to uh, you know, he didn't get 94, 985. Almost that, 95. Yeah. Almost. So what, 94, oh, this is interesting here. So this is what we're dealing with then. It's trying to deal with this stuff right here, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's, yeah. it's dealing with the, the swing areas from the uh, June, uh, June to going all the way over to August. You know? Yeah. And we'll see how it shakes out. You know, yesterday uh, it caught a bid. I mean, it caught a, caught a decent bid. Look at the, the volume expanded pretty dramatically. 27,000. Yes. That's, that's a good contract volume on the dollar. Definitely. So coming into this close out here is going to be a big day. Um, you know, you get uh, what, what is intriguing, folks, is there's no doubt is that uh, the small caps broke down yesterday, had some volume, but guess what? This morning they're re rejecting uh, price here. They're up uh, 74 cents right now. And we are coming into window dressing, you know, so uh, we'll see if, whether window dressing is operational right yeah, now. Yeah, I was just going to say, first of the month is Monday. Wow. You got Un it. Unreal. October. Maybe we'll get some cool weather eventually. We'll see. We will. We'll we see. will. And, we uh, made it through our September. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. 
Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 25. You get the NASDAQ flat. S&Ps are up uh, also flat. Uh, if we go and we take a look at uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, folks, uh, 66.58. And if you haven't uh, test driven yet the Nadex platform, folks, come over to our website. You'll see the banner. Hit the banner. You can bring up the platform. They'll put $25,000 of pick money into your account. And uh, on the Bitcoin spreads, of course, you can, you can trade currencies, commodities, uh, indices. Uh, crypto, uh, Bitcoin specifically, um, and they have weekly and monthly. And uh, this is the uh, end of the weekly and the monthly. It is. The last couple of months, few months, I two know. out of the last three. Have been on a Friday. Have uh, the, the final, yeah, the first of the month has opened up in like a Monday or whatever yeah. it is. Um, so Bitcoin trading at 66, 67. Um, this is a daily chart I have up here. Going back to the beginning of the week, so what was interesting was looking at the weekly spread, right? Weekly spread this week went from 2,700 to 10,700. Yeah. Eight thousand dollars spread. Okay. Right. Each contract is going to represent one one hundred to that. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. No, the weekly is is uh, the monthly is the mini, so it's one tenth of a bitcoin, yeah. right? So you have four hundred dollars exposure to the upside, four hundred to the downside. One tenth of a Bitcoin for each 6, contract. Six thousand seven hundred. So what I was going to point yeah. out, yeah, is six thousand seven hundred is where the week kind of opened up. Right. And we're literally within and thirty dollars, and it just speaks to the low volatility. I mean, this right. is uh, this is Monday's opening bar right here. We traded from about sixty five twenty two to sixty seven seventy six. Yeah. We did dip down to a low throughout the week of maybe sixty three thirty one, but we're right back up there. Now the monthly, as you pull it up. Monthly has an area. Now, this is the one that is going to trade for one one hundredth. So you see the different exposure there. Where yes. per contract, you're only talking about eighty dollars or seventy on one side or the other. So you go from one hundred to fourteen thousand seven. That represents a fourteen thousand six hundred dollar yeah. spread, right? The middle of that about seventy three hundred, right? Okay, yeah. Fourteen six right. divided by yeah. two, seventy three hundred. You add the hundred on top, so you're at seventy four hundred becomes the middle of that spread. Right. So that what that says to you, they set these at the beginning. So the market opened at the beginning of September for Bitcoin for trading at about 7,300, right. uh, still very low volatility premium, yeah. right? For and volatility Bitcoin. in general, no, no, for yes. Sure. For sure. Um, and going back, and that's even, so check out, this is a daily chart, the run that we had on September 5th going from, and that's where kind of things started to slide because there is your opening bar for the month. Oh, right. September second. Wow. So, so it's all one day. Yeah. Besides that one day. Right. I mean, what what type? What are you saying? All one day it went down, folks. Yeah, and yeah. just the volatility was all one right. day. As in, there's no other day on this chart that is beyond about a $300 swing one way or the other, which would have been unheard of uh, in oh. recent time. But that doesn't mean that it might not be right around the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, going back to May, we're up at almost 10,000. Right. By July, we're back down. And really. 
It's kind of dicey hanging at these lower levels. That 6,000 price point, which has kind of been teetering on the edge there. Uh, but we'll see. But visit the site, download that demo, get ready for the weekend. And Weeklies and monthlies open up on Monday. Monday morning, 8 o'clock, right. and today they'll close at 3. That's right. Mm -hmm. You got it. So markets uh, shook everything off. Uh, bottom line is that you're at higher price. Well, it's going to be getting intriguing as we come into the close here, even if I, I show you the Dow Industrials. The last two days, uh, bottom line is that this market has sold off into the close. Uh, you know, sure has. And, and the Dow, I mean, you know, on Wednesday, it was quite a sell-off from the highs to the lows. You yeah, know? Fed Day always interesting. Yeah. Kind of like, uh, right. not like oil, but, you know, where you get the news and the market's trying to figure out where we're going with right. it. And, um, and and before you know it. And they it, decided yeah, coming right into the sure close. Did. You know, we went from 26,606 and we closed out at 26,385. <laughs> uh, yesterday, yeah. it was... You know, the Dow gave up half its gains yesterday. So yesterday we got to 26,557. Yeah. We hit a low of 379 and closed out at... Uh, 439. 439. It's like 120 points off the, low, yeah. off the high. Yeah. From and, you know, we, we always know when we're looking at the Dow Industrials, it's like you only need a few of the equities to, to move. Boeing's and, up 1%. That'll do it. Look at that. That's, yeah. That's, that's a big number. And you know what? That probably is... You know, I wonder... Lockheed Martin got a monster contract this morning, but more than likely, I bet Boeing got a piece of that or two or something. 11 point something billion. Uh, let's see. Boeing jet lands the sea after missing runway. No, that's not it. That's not going to be the good one. Let me see. I, they, they, there's got to be something in there. Yeah, I hear you. Um, Lockheed, let me see. LLC. I think, OK. Yeah, think, LMT. Yeah, I think they're the ones that got it. I don't know. They're only up. Yeah, it's like 11 billion or something. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Jeez, it's only 50, up 57 cents. So I guess the market knew it was getting it. Uh, Mark, uh, yeah, Lockheed Martin, the Pentagon completed the negotiations, the biggest contract to date for the F-35 uh, fighter jet, 11.5 billion to produce 141 aircraft for the U.S. and allies. Interesting. Prices, including engines and award fee, yeah. are the lowest to date in the program. $89 million for each of the Air Force models, $115 for the model more complex, that Marine model. The Marine Corps, of That's course. right, of course. We right? get the best ones. That's right. And 107 for the Navy. Um, 91 aircraft for the U.S. military within the remainder for customer overseas. Wow. Yeah. $89 million a piece or $115 million. That's quite, a, that's quite a machine. And look how important they are to Lockheed's revenue. 27% yeah. uh, of their net second quarter sales. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty remarkable. That's pretty cool. Pretty wild, but anyway, so, something's, something's pushing Boeing. I yeah. Guess, I guess maybe, maybe analysts can recognize, like, what prices Boeing's are going to come in at now that the maybe one. Maybe they could always yeah. have some trade stuff going on in terms of just rhetoric in general. I'm not sure because they are at the whim of the China deal. So so essentially with, what's it, a trillion dollars in orders to China over the next 20 years or Ooh. something like that? Yeah. Big numbers. Big numbers, man. Big numbers. 877-927-6648. Let's go to uh, John in Detroit. Hey, John, what's going on? Hey, Tom and Tommy, love your show. Listen every day. Thanks Morning, so John. Much. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. You Appreciate you Thanks growling, for calling. growling and prowling with us. Hey, my question today is, how can the market keep going up when the financial sector just keeps getting slapped around? Every time they try, they, they try to make a, a move, Goldman, J.P. Morgan, but they're not. But if you look at the XLF, it looks like it, it's been on a steady kind of a move for a year. You know, nothing major, but... How can the market move, uh, you know, continue to go higher without the financials participating? And the, like, the financials have never made so much money, though. I mean, they've made more money than they've ever made. It's just that the people aren't buying them. So why do you think that the financials have to go higher for the economy to go higher? You know, I've always heard that. That's always been a, you know, <clears throat> one of those mantras that... Yeah. If you go to Bloomberg or CNBC, that yeah. the financials have to lead. They have to be involved, you know? Yeah, no, no, I, so, and I can see why. Now, I would add in there that there's a lot more. So here, let's, let's bring up the XLF. So watch what happens here. And this is, this is what is definitely, okay, so we bring up the holdings, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we bring up the holdings, you get Berkshire Hathaway, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, everything that we know. 
okay, as financials, right? But what we also have is now you have the black stones of the world, the, the black rocks of the world, they have more money than most of those banks up there. You right. Just stay right here because we have monster companies now that, uh, yeah, stay right there, folks. Tommy, John, I, we're coming right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last Last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then and head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 40, Nasdaq's up 10, S&P's up three and a half. We're talking with John from Detroit. We are talking markets. So I, I would, you know, I was just looking at actually J.P. Morgan. John is at an all-time high. You know, so yeah, that's a monster bank. XLF not even close. Bank of America not even close. Citigroup not even close. But I guess my my point more than anything is that if we go, if we look back uh, 25 years ago. BlackRock, as well as Blackstone, they were just getting going. Now they're trillion dollar, they, they have trillion dollars in assets. Do you know what I mean? So there's a lot of fintech. Now, even if we exclude them, I would say there's a lot of middle assets that are huge in banking, like Square. Square and the credit card business right now. You have friends in the credit card business. There's, there's a lot of businesses that are basically in the banking business and they're growing exponentially, you know, um, and we get to take advantage of that. You know, there's certain people, you know, just in segments of society, you know. Sure. 
And I think that's what we're looking at. And we're, we've always been used to just saying, okay, if the big banks are not at highs, well, then we get a problem. But I think people are doing business with a lot of other banking structures and you know, you'd hear the term shadow banking, and that's what, what it's basically called. You know, that right, there's, right. you know, there's, there's, so, and it's access to cash. That's, that is the bottom line. You know, if you have cash flow, access to cash, you get an idea, you can start up, you can do something. I mean, when you think about the, you know, uh, the amount of cash that's out there that is trying to find a home, it's pretty incredible. I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's huge, you know, so. Well, thank you. I appreciate the uh, insight in that. Well, you can, can you call us back next week, man? I want to know what's going on in Detroit. You guys are doing a whole revival, man. You got it. Call us back, all right? Thanks, John. All righty. Have, Have a great, great weekend. weekend. Safe weekend. Stay right there, folks. we got Fast Market coming up next. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Happy Friday, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.